Saint Fahim was a 7th century Irish saint, born around 588 AD. He was closely associated with this region during the great age of Celtic Christianity. Fahim's life story is surrounded by folklore and mythology, depicted in tales and legends, which were shrouded in the period's pagan legends. In this signed drawing by Clark, the cross at the centre of the figure does not appear in the finished stained glass window. Clark depicted Fahim in jewel-like colours of a multicoloured green chasuble over blue, purple and cream robes, with this halo on a contrasting deep red background. His large eyes look at us directly from his calm, bearded face. His hair is completely covered with a headpiece. Fahim is holding an elaborate embellished book with page markers in his crossed arms in elaborately designed sleeves. Fahim dedicated his life after ordination, around 610, to the spreading of the monastic tradition in Ireland, establishing oratories with many ruins, monuments and holy wells still bearing his name. Fahim's feet are covered, but his figure is placed on a beautifully designed deep blue plinth. While claimed by many regions, Saint Fahim has been considered mainly as the Apostle of Connemara. He preached in a large area close to Ballinrobe and around the Twelve Bends, right out to Clifton. When at Kong, only five miles away, Fahim founded a monastery around 623 on the banks of the Kong River, where he was its first abbot. This later grew to become a great monastery, having been granted lands by the High King. It is interesting to note that the Augustinian Priory here in Ballinrobe, built on an earlier Christian site on the banks of the River Robe, was associated with the Kong Monastery. No doubt, many pilgrims travelled between the two. There is information on the Priory's layout on its site, only a few hundred yards from here. There are remains of a monastic settlement bearing Fahim's name on Omi Island off Connemara, where his prayers, preaching and patience eventually influenced the pagans of the island. Those who had opposed him finally received baptism and change from being foes to friends. High above is Saint Fahim's symbol, which relates to his supernatural powers and healing abilities. It depicts two praying monks looking towards the heavens. He is reputed to have restored them to life on Omi Island, after they were starved to death by the original pagans to whom they had been preaching. In the predella by Clark titled, Saint Fahim preaching the gospel, the saint is depicted holding a crucifix aloft while preaching to his followers. The peaks in the background, being a typical Connemara scene, show the famous 12 bends. Note the small, scarlet-clad boy in the foreground wearing spectacles while reading his book. Folklore has it that this is an image of Clark himself, who had a great sense of humour and often created whimsical figures. The children of the parish call this the Harry Potter window. Saint Fahim died around 665, during a yellow fever plague. <laughs>